Yeah. We'll see. So, uh, yes, you uh, you spend a key point mm -hmm. and gain dark vision. Mm -hmm. um, so the folks outside, Luck, mm -hmm. Celia, Kel, um, Iska, you see mm -hmm. Iskrin almost in a weird hysteria mm -hmm. come out pulling his hair mm -hmm. and laughing with Axel and Luna following behind him as you all are sitting on the ground still reeling and recovering from what you just saw. As he comes out, he's going to say, how are you people, how are you, you inhabitants so stupid? <laughs> Who would feed these creatures? Why? You know not what you feed. They know nothing about the dangers of this. Well, yeah. then perhaps you can tell us. And Axel, like, goes up and just grabs Eskrin. I mean, Axel's small, but he's, he's basically... Actually, no, he's going to try and basically jump towards Eskrin's fist and knock him over and basically, like, get him on the ground and shake him. Then tell us, sort of thing. But um, it depends if... We'll, yeah. we'll say since you're... Unless you want to really resist it, we'll say since you're kind of off balance already yeah. that he, he sort of takes you down and you have this angry, bristling tabaxi, yeah. three-foot-tall tabaxi on your chest... <laughs> Just knocks, just just falls onto the ground, just like laughing. Just looks at him and just says, "Do you really want to know? The entirety of the sphere is in complete peril now. Do you not understand? Whatever, whatever this magic, whatever these like this weave, this magical interruption is, it doesn't matter anymore. Never wings. Descendants of celestial dragons." They fight, they fight the gods. We can't. They killed three. They killed three cleaners. No, two. Two cleaners. My good friend managed to escape. Near death. A team of six sent in. That's three partners. They come out. Two are dead. There's their rings now desecrated along this plane of existence in this sphere. The remain we managed to clear the sphere last time, but now they remain in the clean sphere, completely tainted. These creatures, they're not to be fed. Oh God, if I, if I only had the charge, if I only had enough charge, I could decimate this entire place and just start all over again. God. Am I recovered enough to do anything at this point? Um, you tell me. How, how affected was Cal? And how uh, do he, these words slap <clears throat> him out of it? Yeah, I, 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 yes. If he's, if he's hearing this and comprehending, then... He's basically yelling this at this point. Then yes, Kel will get up and walk over to him on the ground, kneel down and slap him as hard as he can across the face. Just whap! He takes it. Now you listen but... to No! Shut up! You listen to me. First off, how dare you presume that every single person in this sphere is the same and wants to perpetuate this and feed these monsters. How dare you presume that we're all the same? And second, where the hell have you been? They've been here since before I was born, 98 years. Where have you been for the last 98 years that you didn't even know they were here? Where? <laughs> 63 I spent regenerating my limbs my the the magic that cr sustains me I had to recharge that after crashing here on this godforsaken rock I was stuck in a ring I went through Tyrannosaurus shit Do you know what was that like until freed by a a, a cleric and, and and some 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 quiet mute that only spoke with his fists. Well, I hope he talked a lot with you. No. 
No, I've now lost them. I don't know where they are. I was close. I was close to getting through the, to getting into that vice and finding out what was going on. But no, I got thrown out across the continent. What? I'm sorry. Look, it's my job to try and assimilate. Well, you're doing a piss poor job of it. Let me tell you. I. When there's two of us, we can do it. But just by myself. God, if only I could have the power. If only I had the connection to just show you. You know what? I'm going to try. He's going to. This whole. His entire hand fills up with blue light. And he goes to hold it out towards you. He says, may I? What will that do? Let's see if we'll enlighten you to the dangers that lie before. Well, I doubt I can be all that more enlightened. Excellent. I mean, it's, it, it's, we're already talking about the end of our world, according to you. So how worse can it get? F- far more. Um, I touch his... I touch his face gently, and through uh, this magic light I have within me, I try to transfer memories through magic about the dangers that lie ahead. All the dangers yeah. that I'm trying to explain to him. We're going to do this like a um, divine intervention. Um, roll me a d100. And you have to get underneath of you have to get underneath of your level. <laughs> Does he have disadvantage? No, it's a T one hundred. I know. <laughs> oh wait, wait, wait! Yeah, I'm slash, using yeah, slash R. <laughs> slash, and actually, you can just roll the dice. There's a D one hundred there, <laughs> so that the stream can see what you roll. A D one hundred. Yep. Uh, slash R D one hundred. No, hold on. Yeah, slash R D one hundred. Space D one hundred. Fifty one. The blue light flows in to Kel, but I guess you don't see any visions, Kel. But. you get a more we'll call it universal perspective what can be worse than the end of the world the end of all worlds within this section that this sphere isn't just your the land that you're on it's other lands other places you're not alone this planet using modern terms is not alone within this sphere and what's worse than the end of the world is the end of all worlds within this sphere and it's and in And the big thing that is you, the big thing that lands deep sort of in your heart, in your psyche, Kel, is the despair that Iskrin feels that that is what potentially lies in front of him. And that he's unable to do anything right now. I've already failed. (laughs) What else can I do? I don't have the I don't have the charge. I don't have the partner. All I have is the ring and the cat. And hopefully whoever I meet across the way. I'm trying. I'm trying real hard. But I don't know where to go or what to do. So you uh, at this point is going to pick Axel up from off of his Iskrin yeah. and help him up. 
Yeah, Axel probably would have gotten off a little bit before. He's he's calmed down okay. a little I'm, bit. I'm sure. Very introspective, yeah. Kel will stand as they stand. He will uh, thank uh, th- thank you very much, uh, Water. Thank you. I appreciate the gesture. <laughs> I I'm going to need a minute. Please step back. Does so. And with that, he um, begins to uh, glow in blue light, and just continues to glow for a good um, twenty minutes. Just frozen. So yeah, he just like, basically turns into, I mean, not really encased in ice, but it is like this 